All right, so now on to our next game. Oh, okay, uh, the next game is a new console. This is the release of the very first European home console called the Philips Video Pack G7000, or just uh, the Phil Philips Video Pack. And you can see it down here all the way on the far left. That is the console. It is a console that has a keyboard, but not the kind of keyboard you'd think for a computer. It has a, a, a calculator or, or ch a chiclet keyboard, so it's more gummy than uh, an actual typing keyboard. But you use that to play the game. All right, so let's pull that one up. Philips Video Pack. And let's check out, well, the first game's Blackjack, so we're, we're not gonna uh, check out Blackjack. But this is the very first time that Europe produced their own home console. This is the European version of what we would know as the Magnavox Odyssey 2, which will come out later. All right, so let's see. This one is uh, technically, Technically casino, so we do not play play any casino games. So we're gonna give it zero stars. Move on to a nut. Oh, accidentally push play. Sorry, you get a glimpse of blackjack on the Philips video pack. So that's what it looks like before you boot the game. So let's get out of there, and let's see another launch title for the Philips video pack. Okay, so this is <laughs> uh, the the next launch title is Computer Programmer, another game that's not really a game. So this one gets another zero star rating. And we'll move on to another launch title. Let's see if we have another one. Here we go. Okay, so this is Golf for the uh, Philips Video Pack, the first home console that was released in Europe. I think this is the first golf game we've ever played on the channel. Is this the very first golf game? Uh, you gotta tell me. Uh, check the facts because uh, this is 1978 whenever th uh, this one was released. Uh, let's see what the artwork looks like. Here's the box for golf. Uh, pretty simple. Artwork looks, looks great. Reminds me of Atari's artwork. And then they have examples of screenshots on the box. Also, if you notice the number, it says uh, Philips Video Pack 10. They had all their cartridges labeled by numbers, but not by release. So don't, don't think we missed a game. It's just they just happen to have 10 at this time. And then uh, there's an example of the cartridge. The Philips Video Pack had a handle. So when you wanted to pull it off, you could pull the handle at the top. But it used cartridges, no cassette tapes. That's the way to go. They're doing it the Atari way. There's the example of a screenshot. Uh, let's check out the manual. Does the manual have anything for us? It is a homebrew manual of how to play. Looks like we use uh, the numbers uh, for the number of players. And then how to get the ball to hit is the question. Looks like you use the joystick. It's shared by each person. Um, and then if you want to play... Okay, so it looks like it's going to be using the joystick to swing the golf club. All right, let's see what golf's like. Here we go. This is our first time playing the Philips Video Pack. This is December 1978 when it was released in Europe. And when you first boot up the system, it looks like this. And you select whatever game you want. And what you do is you pull up uh, on the console and you push the buttons on the console. So this is what would show you what it looks like, the, or at least the keyboard that's included. And you would select what game you want. So we would push number one on the console and then it boots up the game so here we go we're playing golf <laughs> i'm moving my uh golfer my little blue guy in the, the the corner over there so he can be moved around it looks like i'm also controlling the golf club and so i pull up next to the the ball and let's see what happens it, when i hold the the button down on the joystick it's spinning <laughs> as a wind up so i'm holding just to explain what the joystick's doing i'm uh, in, in, in the far left side, that's the example of what the joystick looks like. Very rudimentary, very small point of a joystick, and then it has one button. So when you're playing golf, you hold the button down, and it winds up... <laughs> oh, I accidentally hit the ball. Did that count? No, okay. So it didn't count as a stroke, but you get up next to it. There you go, right here, and then you hold it, and where you're holding it, he's winding up his golf club, and then you just let go. <laughs> and I had a total whiffer of a ball. Wait, can I... I'm hitting it. Am I? I'm, I'm giving it little nudges, and it's not counting it as a stroke. I don't know why. I don't know if there's any strategy involved in this. It's missing it again. What is going on? Okay, let's see if I get a little closer. Yeah. Or maybe I'm not winding it up enough to hit the golf ball. Ready? Go. There we go. But it looks like I went out of bounds. I don't know how you get the control that you would want to play, but this is the very first golf game we've ever played on the channel. So this is a, the first golf video game, at least to our knowledge, 
And this is what they decided to program. A player that moves around and then they get from one end of the screen and then they try to hit the golf ball on the other side. But how? How would you ever get it to the, the right spot? <laughs> can I even get to different angles? Okay, I can turn left and right from the ball, but how do I get it to go? Okay, let's try it right here. Is it even gonna go near the green? There we go, okay, well I hit a tree. <laughs> Using a lot of imagination on this one. So that is computer golf for the Philips video pack. That one I'd say, ugh, it's rough. No one's done a golf game, so we're, 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 we're definitely gonna give this one below average, but it's not super uh, intuitive. So I'd say this one's gonna give uh, close to the bad scale, or say one and a half stars. This is our bad range, one and a half to two, so one and a half for the time. Just because of, I can see what they're trying to do, but doesn't execute very well. No.